everybody. How you doing? Thanks for uh, watching this video. We're uh, back. Today is uh, day four for us. We're um, we're in the D.C. job on Massachusetts Avenue. Old, old house. Probably uh, just post-Civil War, I guess. What we've got is we've leveled our floor. Um, well, actually, we, we've sistered all of our joists, so we've, we've got our strength back. That's the important thing. Um, we've strengthened the floor back to where its original integrity was. We've rested our new beams here, here, and one over here on this nice big steel beam. But we're still not done yet. Our floor is really at a level. And uh, it's, it's, it's almost uh, three inches from front to back. So uh, somehow uh, we have to create a level floor, or at least pretty darn close to it, to make this bathroom feel like it's been updated. What I'm doing right here, uh, in the old days they called these lead-ins. Before they had plywood, they would notch the framing this way and put uh, big pieces of timber at an angle to support the corners of the houses uh, before they had plywood. Uh, but they don't do that anymore. Plywood does the job just as well. But I'm taking advantage of uh, mortising this out and creating a pocket because when I'm finished, I'm going to be able to adjust the level of the floor. I've got this 2x6 right here. My goal, I've already cut this is to have this fit right in like this. Uh, this is actually the leftover piece. The, the other, the, I've got the, the right size piece right here. Uh, this one is the one that's actually going to go in there. But I still have one more pocket to mortise. But you'll see how it's cut here. And what will happen is this is supposed to slip right down inside of there and be level with this plywood. And then I'm going to do one of these probably every... Uh, Every, about every two feet. And then we're going to put our subfloor down on top of that. So not only are you going to have support going this way, but you're also going to have support going this way. It's a cross-member system that, uh, that uh, I designed probably well, I don't know, 20 years ago. I mean, it's not rocket science, but um, it was the only system I could develop that would allow me to keep the old joists intact and still create a level floor. It's really time consuming because I'm going to have to notch each one going all the way down. So anyway, I'm going to put one of these screws in now. I, um, I had to pre-drill this with a 3 16 drill bit. You don't want to try and do this raw, especially uh, the, joists, uh, the joists in this house were made from antique longleaf heart pine, which came from the south back in the, uh, gosh, turn of the century, even before. Um, and they were, the logs that these were cut from were ac actually traveled through all the tributaries and rivers, including the Mississippi, to get to the mills. And the wood is now basically extinct. They're a protected species. And um, there are actually companies that dive for the logs that became saturated and sank into the sediment in the bottom of the Mississippi River. They pull the logs out and they mill it because it doesn't rot. It's got some sort of unbelievable sap, which is a, a, a nature's way of protecting the wood. It's, it's unbelievable. This whole house is not only framed with longleaf heart pine, but all the tongue and groove flooring is longleaf heart pine as well. And I'm sure the uh, trim and probably the framings. They, uh, it's just amazing uh, the quality of this wood and it's a shame we don't have any more of it. But uh, anyway, I want you to watch this screw and see how easy it is. Uh, it comes with a star head bit and um, I tell you, I, I, just, I, just, I just love how these perform. That's just fantastic. Look at that. That big head on there acts like a washer and it's just pulls it in tight. Boy, I love it.